Hello, George here today with a quick unboxing of the AX720 headset. This is compatible with the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, PC and the Mac and it retails for around the £105 to £110 mark. So let's get into the box. On the front here we have a nice little flap which gives us some information. This is a Dolby Digital Surround Sound headphone, inline controller and voice communication settings down here. And there's also a removable flexible microphone which is plug, plug in, plug out when you want it. On the side here we have some more information, different countries, basically just going over what I've already been over. Dolby Digital 5.1 audio processing. On the back here we have a picture of the decoder box, a picture of the headset itself which looks really nice. And the inline controller here. Basically gives you some information on what all the uh, fins are on there. And on the side you get a nice shot of the uh, headphone here. It's obviously a nice shiny white gloss material. And you have the orangey red Triton emblem on the side. So let's open this bad boy up. So there's a little tab on the back I believe. Yep, yeah, there we go. You gotta open this up. So it's actually quite a uh, big box. Okay. So that is the packaging itself for the headset. I'm going to show you what came inside the box. Here we have the documentation for the Triton AX720s. And let's open up the headset. So on the front here we have a uh, just a basic vacuum formed plastic covering. You can take that off. And first of all, we have the Triton decoder box right here. This is what's going to process the 5.1 audio surround sound, the Dolby Digital Pro Logic 2 surround sound. Looks very nice indeed. You've got the uh, orange grills here. Makes it look like something out of Star Trek. Very cool. And then we have the headsets. So let's grab this out. Now, from the first few of these, they look incredibly well made really well made. They have the Triton emblem on the top there. On the side we have the emblem and a nice black band that goes all the way around. And the padding is really very thick here. Very nice padding indeed. And a big improvement from my last headset, the Turtle Beach X1s. These look really good. Okay, so let's put them to the side. On the top there you can see we have the inline controller, we have the game volume which is all on there, the audio source, power off, the uh, mic mute and then we have a really long, I think, it's, I think it's a 13 foot cable on there. Let's grab this little box here, I'm going to go more in depth for the review. Let's open this up. There we go. Because in here we have the mains, the mains plug here. Here we have a USB, which I believe is for PlayStation only. We have another cable here, which I believe is for the audio. I believe that's a Toslink cable. We have another cable here, which I believe is just an adapter for when using on the PC or Mac. And then we have the actual PC cable there.
And we also have the mic, which is very, very sturdy and flexible. Really nice indeed. And just plugs in when you want it. And then we're doing a full review, a more in-depth review with this. And I'm going to leave you with some close-ups. So once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to send me any messages, questions you have on this product or tech in full. And uh, please visit my website, www.gntuk.tk. And on Twitter, all that information is going to be on the down bar below. And once again, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.